Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure. And he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Now a throw here going to be taken in by the tight end to Joku. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Browns first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside, and so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. He'll look to throw. That'll be incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. They go with Chubb on second down. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Nick Chubb, 25 yards. And the Browns will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Hopkins with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Here are the commanders for their first drive of the game. And they will be led out by their second-year quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100-plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. They'll run for the first time here with Brian Robinson. And he'll be stopped up at the 26 after a gain of only a couple. Third and five. Operating from the gun, Daniels. And that will be incomplete. That was their first third down trial of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. 
Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. And it's fielded at the 34. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown. They got the stop. And now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can. And that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off because right now it's out there for them. They've just got to go seize it. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. They'll look to throw. Dumps this to his running back, Chubb. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll set up a throw. Swings this out for Hunt. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. And Chubb will try the middle here. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. On to the second from Cleveland. It's the Browns in control of the football. As they've got it with a third down coming up. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. Call it a gain of seven and it gets him a new set of downs. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. An 18-yard touchdown run. And the Browns have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two. Two touchdowns, Charles. A great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, and not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they've played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Extra point good by Hopkins, and it's now 14 to nothing. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Second and 13. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. They'll look to throw here. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up forward. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner, Tress Way, on to punt the football.
Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. For the Browns, good starting field position as they have it first and 10 at their own 44. Now it's the backup Watson. This one complete to Jerry Judy. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there at 22. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. It's the first time that they've looked his way tonight, and he comes up with a first down on the play. From the gun, here's Watson. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Commanders will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. Boy, that's the kind of interception that can save a game right there. They're already down two scores. Huge play, slowing down what was going against them. I was thinking the same thing. You get down three scores there at this stage, could be in for a long ball game. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They started on the ground with Eckler. And he'll get a few yards here to the 34. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. The throw over the middle taken in. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Throwing left side, it's complete. A huge play there for Washington. And even 40 yards. Ah, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes, you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there. That shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. Well, this is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. From four yards out. And the Commanders have got it back to within a score. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And... I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So take away the touchdown there, as that's going to be ruled an incomplete pass. They'll look to throw again. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. It's a big loss of five there on second down to bring up third and goal. Now back to throw. That one behind his receiver and incomplete. The Browns' D locked in on third down. Brings up fourth. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, 
somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense, the firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Fedarian Mathis bringing him down. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we have reached halftime in our first preseason matchup of the year. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. Back to you guys in just a minute as we've started the countdown to opening night. Remember, the preseason has shrunk from four games down to three. So just two more weeks of preseason action follow this, and then we get it all started on the first Thursday after Labor Day in our game. Most of the starters have made their cameo and departed, but plenty of youngsters out there with a lot to gain or lose as we get you right back out to Brandon God. And he returns this to the 22. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. and They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll leave him with a third and two. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect zone coverage there and they were playing deep that makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys and that time there's not much of a window to get the ball in there and it winds up incomplete so they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away fielded at about the 28 39 yard punt six yards on the return and it will be first and 10 as they take over here's the browns now they get set for their first possession of the third quarter Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at the 34. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And while the guys with the ball are having a whole lot of fun keeping it on the ground, the guys on the opposite side, they are having zero fun. They've been getting pushed around the entire game and haven't found an answer yet to slow down the running game. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Four yards the pick up, first down. Watson. This complete to David Bell. And he's brought down. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Now Watson. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. 
That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Gosh, when you've got Deshaun Watson, Charles, executing a run-pass option, that puts the defense in a tough spot, does it not? It does, and what I liked is that you called me this week watching your own video, your own tape, and you said, I think the runner's going to pop a few this week because of what we've seen from Deshaun Watson. His ability to get to the corner, that's where the focus will go. Second and ten. Throwing again is Watson. How quickly to Judy. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Now a play fake, and it's Watson. He's got his running back out of the backfield. Touchdown, Browns! Kareem Hunt, a nine-yard touchdown grab. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. And that's a drive that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish exactly what they set out to do. Take care of the football, eat up a little clock, end up in the end zone. Now they've got a cushion for the rest of the game. So they didn't just help themselves offensively, they helped their defense out as well. Hopkins with the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Washington offense set to take over again. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. Boy, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. Running on first down, Eckler. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Final minute now of the third quarter. Eckler going to get it again on second down. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. Back to throw. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That'll go as a pickup of eight. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. He'll keep it himself. And he's going to take this across the 50 into Brown's territory. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Commanders in possession of the football, but they trail as we start this fourth quarter. The throw on the quick slant going to be complete. Quick slant there gets him the first down, six yards on the play. He'll drop to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a commander's first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. 
Eckler now between the tackles. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. Ten yards there, good for a Washington first down. It's Eckler again. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Here we go on second and 12. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. The good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You, you figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here. You've held the team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. A throw on target there to Milne. And he's not able to get away. He is stopped well, well short of a first down. Ron Rivera, the gambling type, but he comes up empty here. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. It has been a dream start to the preseason thus far as they look to finish things strong in the fourth quarter. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. 51 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show off their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they are powering through, and they're controlling this game. That's good for a Cleveland first down at 11-yard pickup. Hunt will try going up the middle. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave them with a third down. So Cleveland able to come away with the victory here. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Browns, and they're happy in the dog pound, as we say so long from Cleveland.